Hi, welcome back to the vlog. Here we are, quote two of the week from the earlier blog this week. And this is coming from chapter 17. And Evert has attempted to kill Kubert with his own pets, and that's failed. And in desperation, uh, he pits Evert's tribe against themselves. He controls some of them, and Kubert still got the loyalty of others. And a mass battle ensues. Evert manages to escape, and after burying the dead, Kubert and Brody head back to Langnord, where Evert once again tries to mentally intervene in their progress. So here's the quote, and I shall read on. As they rounded the balcony and came into visual contact of each other, Brody smiled, seeing his old friend standing in front of him. He had arms open in a welcoming gesture, holding a takeaway curry in one hand and two bottles of beer in the other. He relaxed his shoulders, opened his arms wide, pre-man hug, and took a quick step forward. Kubert saw the overly large hog turn, square up like an angry bull, and start to run at him. He was surprised. Such a beast was normally quiet and wary of any human contact, usually running away if disturbed, but this huge specimen was charging at him. He sidestepped, dived forward, rolled over his shoulder in what Brody, if he had seen it, would have described as a very Bodie and Doyle sort of way. As he landed and rolled, he thrust up hard and left with his serrated blade, catching the hog square between the ribs and tearing a six-inch gash in its side. Cash dropped the beer and food and disappeared in a cloud of dust as Brody hit the floor. Blood spurted from the deep wound that Kubert had savagely but unintentionally inflicted upon his hunting days. Brody screamed in agony. So, a bit complicated, a bit uh, strange, because obviously if you're not fully with the story, you won't realise what's going on. However, to explain, Evert is in control of both of their minds, and they go into the building to find him, but then in the controlled state that he's put them in, they don't see what's really happening. They see each other in different forms. Uh, Kubert sees uh, Brody as a hog and goes into some weird, strange, altered state and tries to kill the animal as if he was hunting back in his tribe. And uh, Brody sees uh, Kubert as his old friend Cash coming for a curry. So they all get confused and lots of blood and guts ensue. If you want to see what happens next and whether Brody, just before the end of the book and the uh, cliffhanger, actually survives, then you'll need to read the book. Okay, thanks for listening to that. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you later in the week for part three. Thank you.